Hello everyone. Welcome to the beautiful world of WooCommerce with Next.js and GraphQL. In the previous video, we learned about how to use GraphQL to fetch the product data from WordPress. And all this while, we have been using our server component to serve the API requests. Now, in this video, we're going to learn how to go ahead and use serverless deployment. Now, you must say to me, hey Imran, why did we even start with server.js and you know using server component when we had to go to the serverless approach? Well, the reason for this is that, of course, this is not a client project. This is for learning purposes and I want to show you what's possible. If you want to go with the server approach, you can definitely continue to use the server.js. However, It'll, you will know in this video as to why it will be helpful if you went with the serverless approach. So then you might say to me, hey Imran, so what is actually serverless? Well, serverless doesn't mean that there is no server. It just means that you don't have any servers that you need to manage on your own. You don't have any servers that serve up your code and you don't have to manage a server-side component. Now, server-side deployment means that instead of creating a big application, you can create small functions that run on their own. And that's going to be good for scaling, which means you don't have to manage your own service server component. There will be someone else who will be managing that for you. Okay, so you're going to use someone else's server. So there are some of the examples for these, which are like AWS, Lambda, you have Microsoft Azure, you have Google Cloud Platform, IBM cloud functions all of these okay so you can use any of these but in this tutorial we're going to learn about Zite now so Zite now is also a cloud platform for serving the static sites and serverless functions and it makes things really easy for you the deployment is instant it scales automatically so it really solves that problem because think about it when you're uploading images or you know you're serving requests uh, when you have a lot of users you have to manage your own service but uh, Zite now is going to take care of that for you it's going to make deployment really easy just run one simple command now and you're done and the best part is that if you want to test it you don't have to pay any uh, you know anything by credit card or anything like that it's just simple it's super easy for staging purposes and later on when you're ready you can go for the premium plan and then uh, have it deployed uh, to your main domain great so let's learn how do we do that so before we begin guys uh, I just want to show you one good resource where you can learn more about you know what serverless is not that you have to use AWS Lambda, it's up to you if you want to, but if you want to really understand what serverless is and how it's going to help you, then you can just watch this video on awsamazon.com. It's pretty simple. Uh, they've done a good job in explaining how things work when you use serverless. And they have also shown these images over here. Okay, Coming back to what we can do for us, is uh, through the Zite now okay you can see all of these companies already using it so let's begin then so what is the first step we need to take so we have an application which is currently using npm run dev and it's running the server.js using nodemon so let's go ahead and stop the server okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install now first okay so we're going to install now globally. So all you have to do is just say npm install, i is short for install, dash g is for global. So it's going to install it globally for you, not in a local project. And just now, and just, just hit enter and it's going to install now for you, okay? Also, you need to create an account on Zite. So you can just go to zite.co and just create an account. I already have an account, so I don't have to worry. You can see that zero configuration, push to deploy, 100% production grade. And free automatic SSL as well, which means the site that you're going to get uh, deployed even for testing or for the uh, when your uh, project is ready uh, for production, uh, it is going to ha have the SSL certificate automatically, so HTTPS. Okay. 
great um, so once you're done once you have gone ahead and installed now okay then you've also signed up here there are just some some of the changes we're going to make into our project the first thing we're going to do is we'll get rid of this server.js because we don't need it we don't need to manage all of these apis from here we don't need to manage our server component now is going to take care of that for us uh, the next thing we're going to do is go to our package.json file get rid of this main server.js because we're no longer using that and then in the script where we have dev earlier we were using server.js but since we are not using that now we can just do now uh, dev and then for the next one um, we also need to have a build configuration a build script basically so let's do build and then we just have to write next build and then when you deploy it you must have a start script okay so you need to have start if you don't use start over here then when you deploy the deployment will fail it needs to have the, it looks for a start script so when you deploy your project uh, it goes ahead and install all of the uh, dependence that you have from the package.json that's all it looks for and then it uses the start script to follow any of the command that it needs to take care of from there on so let's just do next start and all of this information you will be able to find in the documentation of Zite now so you know you can go in here and, and you can check all of the information okay the next thing we're going to do guys we will create a configuration file for uh, now so the configuration file name will be now.json uh, you'll be able to find this information here on advanced configuration of course we don't really need this now.json file configuration uh, if you're dealing with basic stuff but uh, we're going to need this for our project because we're going to be dealing with clean urls we need to define different routes and different other configurations so then it's it's best that we add this file right now okay and then later on we can add our routes and things like that because remember that we are not dealing with the server component ourselves now now is going to take care of that so sometimes if we want uh, our route to be handled in a different fashion then we need to define the configuration here to tell now that this is how our routes would be uh, taken care of okay so the first thing it requires so if you go to the deployment configuration you can see that there are different information available over here there is version number so we can just write version and currently the latest version of Zite now is 2 so we're going to use that okay there was a version number 1 as well but 2 is the latest okay and then it asks you for the name okay so the project name is Woonext if you don't define all of this it takes all default configuration by default it just takes your project directory name but if you define it explicitly then it's going to just pick up that then you have something called alias so when it goes in and deploys that instead of using the standard directory name it will use the alias uh, for the domain etc so for now let's just keep it Ooh, next we don't really really need to worry about it okay then you have the builds so you need to tell us tell Zite about the build information how the build is going to be handled so you can tell it that take the source directory as package.json okay and then use the package which is now next okay so you must be wondering what this is let's check it out so so it just talks about build description you just need to tell it that uh, you know when it goes ahead and takes the source as package.json what package is going to use for that you can read more about it I'm not going to get into details of it because then the, uh, the video is going to be too long okay so you will you can read information about it what it does here okay. so if you see this is a builds and not build so let me just add that 
and then this is also an array of objects not just an object okay so we've got this so far now all we have to do is just run our script which is dev which eventually will run now dev so let's do that let's say npm run dev and you can see it's running now dev it's preparing or creating an initial build preparing package.json for build installing to this project and then it will start our development server on uh, localhost 3000 you can see that's what it's doing so all I can do is just go over here on 3000 you can see great we've got our project on now and we no longer have to manage our server component we don't have any server.js file the now uh, Zite now is actually taking care of us, uh, taking care for us, okay, uh, so which is basically the cloud platform. Now, the next thing we need to do is let's get deployment out of the way. So, we've configured now, which is you can see how simple it was. We just had to install now globally and then just add some of the information in the script and add it in the now.json, and we're ready to go. One important thing to note is that when you're deploying your website for production using now, then make sure that you go to client-config.js and just replace if you have anything like localhost. For example, I had a localhost uh, WordPress install. So do not use the localhost uh, WordPress install, okay, because it won't be able to get the data from there when you uh, go ahead and use it for the live production mode okay so you use the live site so this is my live WordPress site where I have the GraphQL uh, plugin WP GraphQL plugin installed and activated and even the uh, WooCommerce GraphQL plugin as well okay so make sure you use the live WordPress uh, site URL and not the local host or anything that you have set up locally uh, for production itself okay so what do you think we should do to deploy it or how many steps would that be well sometimes we have to take like two to three steps but the best part is that to deploy our application all we have to do is just hit now that's it you don't need to do anything isn't that super simple so you can see it's using the project woo next syncing files it creates a temporary URL this is your project name this is some random string it adds and then it does that on dot now dot sh so eventually it's going to give us a URL that we can use for testing purposes in staging later on we can do now alias and whatever the domain that we want to use uh, we can do that but that's for the paid packages not not for free for free we'll be able to just get uh, this kind of URL okay so it's deployed it on this and all I can do is just open it awesome guys you have it live and as you can see that it is added HTTPS so it's also secure isn't that wonderful awesome so you can see you've got your site live in fact at this stage you'll be able to share this uh, not this in specific but your URL that you generate with your colleagues with your friends you can tell them okay I've built a WooCommerce front-end site in react using Next.js and GraphQL of course so you can show them how fast it is how simple it is and of course it's uh, it's gonna give you a great user experience so the next thing we need to do is basically go ahead and create a single product page because all this while we're just displaying the uh, products but we haven't got the single product page and we have been getting a lot of uh, queries about when are we going to develop a single product page some of uh, you guys are asking me uh, how to go ahead and put a category page so we're going to do all of that don't worry okay but uh, it's important that you understand why we went serverless from a server approach okay so in serverless basically you 
break down your server code into small pieces and just use a cloud pa platform like for example Zite Now or AWS Lambda to host some of the aspects that you, uh, that you need uh, server-side code for and servers are managed in the cloud platform so you don't have to worry about it in handling them so they take care of it uh, of them on its own and uh, it does the scaling as well really well great so that's it for now for this video and uh, let's catch up in the next video and understand how we can create a single product page if you did like the video guys please give a thumbs up and do follow me on Twitter because I conduct a lot of meetups and tutorials so do follow me on uh, Twitter so you can get to know more about what I'm doing uh, on Imran H. So yeah, that's my Twitter handle. Okay. See you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye. And do subscribe to my channel.